now empowering society is largely taking place in the new paradigm shift of our developmental strategy empowerment through entitlement entitlement backed by legal enactment various rights starting from right to information right to job for the rural poor right to education up to the age of 14 universally and what is being contemplated right to food these are important rights and these rights empower people and this empowerment is just not mere expression of intention but it is backed by legal enactment to achieve this goal you have rather difficult task of enlisting the cooperation and assistance of the people in the voluntary observance of the law to earn the respect of the public you would have to bear in mind that your efficiency would depend on the preventive of crime not in the apparent action that you take in response to it to achieve this the adherence to the principles of equity and importantly in your deeds you should be on wavering this would discourage the tendency to violate the laws and spawn the society the need of people to cooperate with the police to the extent you are able to enlist the cooperation of the people the need for you to use the force proportionately diminishes it would indeed give meaning to the historical truth that police are the public and public are the police that your role differs from public only to the extent that you are employed by the state to perform this role that every member of the society has to for the peace full existence in the society my vision of the police in india is not merely as a regulatory body enforcing laws maintaining public order but of a proactive service provider a partner in the growth of development and peace that would require a change of role of the police from a reactive to a proactive agency which in partnership with the society creates a peaceful and secure atmosphere conducive to the enjoyment of the fruits of growth and prosperity you would agree with me that development and economic growth without rule of law will be meaningless the police force is expected to provide the basic security needs of the society without which progress will be short lived for this the indian police should be human sensitive effective and enlightened this transformation is the need of the hour and you are the leaders who should bring about the proactive changes in this direction i am confident that you are adequately qualified to this task i am also aware that no other police in the world 
is fortunate to take claim to a group of highly qualified, educated, and intellectual cadre. Assisting you in this transformation is your academy, which ranks among one of the best in the world in terms of its training methods, quality of training, and its capabilities. You will have to draw on your education, intelligence, and your training to combat the negative trends in the society. Radicalism of both hues, the right and the left, pose a serious threat to the integrity and internal security of our country. Religious fundamentalism and violence promoted by transborder machinations have to be fought using innovative tools. Similarly, left-wing extremism continues to be a serious issue in many parts of the country. These destabilizing elements have to be countered by security forces and intelligence agencies, the leadership of which you would soon assume. The skill with which you can train, manage, and lead these forces to combat such trends would determine the success of your endeavor. You have before you several decades of active and valuable service to the country. You are just on the threshold of your career. You can take pride in the fact that nowhere in the world would officers from the police force be placed at the levels of the structure as you would when you begin your journey in your service. Therefore, along with your position would come additional responsibilities. The job in the police is not an easy one. It will demand from you utmost discipline, devotion, compassion, and patience. At times, you might feel frustrated, but I want you to remember that yours is the unique service. If you are able to engender the people the feeling that you have protected the vulnerables and supported the poor, it would compensate for all the troubles and tribulations that you may have to face in your career. You should always remember that you have entered the service at a momentous period of the country's history. India today is in the cusp of emerging as a major economic power. You are fortunate that most of you would be witnessing to our nation attaining the stature by the middle of this century as an advanced economy. In this rise, you would have a crucial role to play to sustain the level of economic growth, as I mentioned earlier, required for the nation to find its rightful place in the society, there has to be peace, rule of law, and perfect public order in the society. The nation has great expectations from you, young officers, May God bless you. Your own intuition, intelligence, spirit of accepting challenge with courage and fortitude would lead you the path because you are chosen to lead, play the role of leaders. I wish you all success in your future career. Thank you.